Now, I was I had my my Mac here, uh, which has gone to sleep on me now. Uh, there. Um, because I, I wanted to show a I wanted to show a demo of Squirrel oh, logging in. What? But it's but it's sort of it's sort of hard to do this by ca on on the the camera like this, and I don't have my lovely assistant with me. <laughs> so I thought instead. Yeah. Uh, I'll log on to your computer using Squirrel, Leo. What? what? So, let's okay. open your computer. Okay. Go to grc.com. Oh, this is making me nervous here. All right. GRC. It doesn't matter what I use, right? Like I can use Chrome or anything else, right? Use whatever you want. Okay. Let's go to grc.com. All right. Mm -hmm. Slash. Oh. Slash Squirrel. Oh, sorry. Slash squirrel slash demo dot htm. Okay. SQ. Okay. Slash squirrel sqrl. Sqrl slash demo slash demo yeah. dot htm. Oh, okay. Still uses those old HTML. That's those right. Movie. Hit yeah. enter. Hit enter. All right. Okay. So now you're looking at the squirrel's demonstration. Yeah. Proceed. And proceed. so you. Yeah. Yep. Do okay. that. Now. Okay. What? So now. Now we're looking at what any website on the internet might show you um, uh, when when you are uh, logging in. Um, so. I, I just took a picture of that QR code, and now you are logged in. What? Knock that's it what off. Is, that's <laughs> what this is about. <laughs> now, now, several things. Notice what the hell that happened you, there? You didn't touch your computer. No, I did I not. Didn't, I didn't touch your computer. No authentication information went over your wires. So that if there was a keystroke logger in your machine, right. if somebody right. was watching your, you know, monitoring your traffic, you're just suddenly logged in. Um, and and the other cool thing about this, I just this sort of occurred to me um, as a fun demo, as a parent. How many times have have you needed either Abby or Henry to get like brief access to some internet account? Yeah, of yours? yeah, yeah, yeah. All the yeah. time. Yeah. So I, I know it happens all the time. So what I just did was essentially gave you access to one of my logons. Can so I get a mean? squirrel on my door lock? <laughs> <laughs> Many people have asked. Well, that was there, awesome. There'll be, there'll be lots of applications for this. Um, this is a, th there's a squirrel client, uh, which has been written by, uh, he's still in the process of working on it. Jeff Arthur uh, in the UK did the, the, the squirrel client for iOS. So I have it running uh, both on the iPhone 5 and 6. Um, and uh, so this demonstrates the, the optical QR login. And so normally you would do this to, you know, with, with your phone to your computer or a friend's computer. You know, in the example that I gave when I was speaking at the DigiCert conference, I talked about being in a, in a hotel and not wanting to log in to their business services computer. Because anything, I mean, anything could have been sitting there uh, capturing my keystrokes. Once squirrel happens... That the the Southwest Airlines just puts up that little QR code next to the um, the username and password, and and any Squirrel user simply uses their smartphone to scan the QR code, and they're logged in, entering no credentials into that machine. So we well, I've been talking about it for a year and a half now. Our listeners have been very patient. Lord knows, Spinrite people have been. Very patient, waiting for me to finish this and get back to spin right. So I wanted to demonstrate that it is in fact coming alive and working, and you know all of this. All, it all, all does work. too, and I'll be getting back to spin right as soon amazing. as. That was amazing. I just I'm so <laughs> flabbergasted, <laughs> gobsmacked. Did you take a picture of the QR code on my screen? Yeah, um, you, you you put ah. your screen in the feed, and so I let oh, the phone. Okay. See your QR code and then my phone and see the QR code contains the URL yeah. for the demo. Yeah. So the phone contacted GRC uh -huh. and it said, this is Steve. I'm proving it by signing this QR code and you can log on 
the person who you gave the QR code to. Well, that's a but, golden but, miracle. I don't know how but, you did that. <laughs> but notice that if Henry needed to use to get on to one of your accounts, yeah, uh, you um, he, all he would have to do is arrange to show you the QR code which is being shown. You let your phone see that. And then he's logged in. So he could turn without, on, the, I don't know, uh, FaceTime and uh, yes. use the camera on his phone to show me that code. And I could see it. And I would turn on my Q, my Squirrel program, see yep. the QR code he's sending me via FaceTime, and the door would unlock and he could go in the house, which he is right now writing my segues. Uh, or, or I had to give him you, a key. Or he would have access to a website right. where otherwise you would have to give him your username and password. password. No doubt time. you've had to do that with all the kids. All the time. And so the beauty of this is it allows you to do at distance one-time login with divulging no credentials to the person who you are allowing to log in as you. QR codes Among are pretty robust. You don't need great video. Oh, in fact, it, it was blurry. Yeah. It was blurry here, and I didn't know if it was going to work. Yeah. Uh, uh, they're robust, and they have ECC, error right. correction, built in, so at a, a variable of level of redundancy. Yeah, there's a yes. lot of redundancy in them.